Goldberg, welcome once again to the Ultimate Defining Championship. Hi again, everybody. I'm Mike Goldberg. Welcome once again to the Ultimate Fighting Championship. DJ Penn, the prodigy, the prodigy, the prodigy. Dana was pissed. Just standing there, pissed. Everybody, but black folks love me, man. Black girls love me too, man. I get hit on by black girls all the time. I'd be like, oh, I'll be showing, I'll be showing my nipple, I'll be doing my nipple dance. Man. Are you black? I'm uh, Jamaican, black and white. She's Jamaican, me horny. <laughs> what? Uh, Gilbert won, so fuck, fuck you, Eddie. So can we get his thoughts on, on what he thinks of Nick Diaz not showing up today? What? Did Nick know his ear? You know, Connor, I match up horrible for this guy. Connor, Connor, do you know what wrestling is? I can, I can rest my balls on your forehead. <laughs> yeah, I know. How'd you get started in this? I was, I was 12. Yeah? I was in concrete theater, and then, uh, then Deb was in between, the, in between the clips. Right. And I really got interested in the clips and started teaching our books, and my mom got me in a crying class. Yes. Because it's different than college wrestling. Oh, yeah. It's a little different. It? It's a little louder, a little, a little, a little stressing. You okay, Chuck? Yeah, I'm okay. Him! Y'all look at the king of Dublin. I'm the real champion. Y'all looking at the king of Dublin, yeah? Y'all looking at him. Look at him. Look at him. It was the scariest sprawl I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, when he snapped down Tim Bosch, it was like, bitch! On the hip, two on the hip, on the hip! On the hip. Mm. Take, your, take your hands out of the net. But you say you smell fear mm -hmm. in him. Yes, it is a beautiful aroma that arouses me. He said, tell him he's his Did daddy. Uh, uh, my, my father raised me like this, uh, like a man. Tell he's him not, I said, not. I am his daddy. No, no, it, it's so irrelevant because the truth of it is this. The weight cut's going to be hard. I'm already dehydrated. I'm going to dehydrate some more. I will recover and I will be refreshed. I will be excited to have some carbohydrates in these legs. Oh yeah, I saw Harry and I'm still riding that wave of excitement of, you know what, you put us in the underdog. We've been the underdog of, of the United States for the longest time. But you know what, those who exalt themselves will be humbled. And Holly, hum Holly Holm, she humbled her. If he loses, right, what would he? Oh, uh, well. Not impressed by your performance. Yeah, the term's got to be up front. Or it's and load it up on the page. Oh. Not impressed by your performance. Don't. Look at that stare. But I don't think that the uh, Russian fighter who's been in with the humongous six foot eight, Ricardo Morais. And gave him a beating before he lost a very Look. tough match. Look what Quinton does. He's giving a yellow card to the referee. <laughs> <laughs> I need to feed my family that hopefully one day um, I, I can acquire if I survive this shit. I train, I eat, and I sleep. It's a good time um, in the like, season, seasonally, uh, kind of seasonal. Cause I feel like I get paid way too much money, but not enough. Mons in here, looking for Kimbo Slice. Gary Shaw, come on, man. Make this guy fight a real fighter. The guy's 2-0, and hasn't fought anybody. I think that the best way to get a hold of him is on YouTube, since I know the fucker doesn't read. Kimbo Slice on the cover of ESPN the magazine. Brownie here, looking for Jeff Munson. Figured the best way to get a hold of him is on YouTube, because I know the fucker can't pay his phone bill. Guys, 40 and 5 hasn't fought anybody. Come on, Laborio. Let this guy get a real fight. Jeff Munson. Not even in the ESPN magazine. See, my Bentley, what I got with my two phantoms had a baby. I 